Hello YouTubers, this is Alan B. Me. I just installed Kubuntu 10.04 Lucid Lynx on my EEE PC and I'm going to demo for it for you today. The EEE PC has a 1.6 GHz Atom processor, 1 GB of RAM, a 4 GB internal SD drive that we use as a hard drive. It has an 8.9 inch screen. I installed the beta, first beta for Kubuntu. Uh, it was released a couple of weeks ago. So I want to see what this looks like compared to Ubuntu. So let's turn it on. There we go. There's the uh, BIOS. Ubuntu uh, Lucid Lynx Remix took 52 seconds to boot I don't know I know they're trying to increase the decrease the boot time but I wish it would say something well there's a F set so something's happening I wish they would at least do some dots or something but here we have the KDE um, splash the disk drive settings etc but I don't count the system as being fully up and running until I have a usable prompt I see the panel and I'm able to actually uh, give commands to the computer alright here we go I get my first notification so I say it's ready that's about a minute and 20 seconds. Uh, I don't have it connected to the internet right now. So you'll see the K-Weather app, app, applet. They're searching for uh, a connection. Okay. I tried to use K-Package, but it gave me all kind of trouble. So I installed from the command line, record my desktop, which I'm going to use for the next part of this video. Okay, here we are. This is recorded with uh, Record My Desktop, the command line version. Here are the settings. Here was a problem. Uh, the first time I did this, tried to turn off Nepomuk, the system crashed. So I had to reboot it and try it again. So everything works now. Uh, I, I disabled Stringy and Nipomook so that it will cut down on some of the uh, hard drive wear. First thing I usually do is uh, get rid of the busy cursor, the launch effect. I, I hate that. What you don't see here is that after I installed it and booted it the first time, I went to and tried to clear up some disk, disk space. It only had 147 megabytes after I did a complete install from the USB uh, package. Only had 147 megabytes. So I installed Local Purge. I, I removed all the languages except English. I did uh, Auto Clean. I did Clean. Uh, I searched the temporary directory, see if there was anything in there, and deleted it. So I finally got a, about 600 megabytes free. So I installed GTK, uh, I'm sorry, I installed Record My Desktop. I didn't, I didn't install the GUI version of it, uh, mainly because I didn't know the name of the package. And the K package was just balking on me. It wouldn't work. Uh, I did not make any uh, up updates. There were like 417 packages I believe to be uh, updated. I didn't do that. I will do that and see if the system works any better but the disk space was so small that uh, was so slim I didn't want to risk crashing the system. As you can see we have OpenOffice uh, 3.2. I'm getting all types of notifications here.
just going through looking at the different programs that come with the default install I'm still getting uh, notifications from K package even though I tried to uh, close it down you know over an hour ago and Nipomuk services are still trying to uh, still give me error messages it asked me to co collect to uh, collect information about the problem and send them to I guess uh, Kubuntu or KDE but there's an error it tells me that my system is out of date so it's not able to send the information off but this is just a beta I'm not worried uh, I have K patients so solitary so I'm not really worried I have a working system under graphics there's no GIMP but I'm going to install that Under uh, internet, of course, there's Firefox is not installed by default, but we can. In, it does have a one-click installer for it, and we have the usual uh, instant messenger clients, remote desktop clients. Conqueror is the default web browser for the system. Under multimedia, we have Amarok Dragon Multimedia Player. And there you have it. Uh, Kubuntu Lucid Lynx 10.04. Uh, there's an error with Amarok. Hmm, interesting. Here's a uh, Conqueror browser. I'm going to go to the uh, Kubuntu site. I'm not sure how well it does on the Asset 3 test. So there you have it. Kubuntu 10.04 Lucid Lynx. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Uh, can't wait till the final version comes out April 29th for this year.